Hi, and welcome back to IWS Motor Coaches. I'd like to take a moment and take you on a tour of the inside of the IWS Sportsman Coach by Renegade. As we go up the steps, I want to take a moment and talk to you about what our intent was with this mud room. We wanted to create an area where you could come in from fishing or hunting or snow skiing or being at the racetrack to be able to go up into an area if it's raining outside, take your rain gear off and hang it up. So we created this large mud room in the back. And keep in mind as we go through this that if you want a toolbox back there or a reloading bench or if you want a pantry for extra food or a place to haul your dogs, coat racks, anything you want will build into this room. As we mentioned in the other videos, Renegade makes what's called the boot step. So these steps are very deep. So as you walk in, you can kick your shoes off and kick them underneath the steps. We did this whole mudroom with bed liner on the floors and then the walls are all covered in plywood and then sheeted with a white finished aluminum sheet so that, you know, if you wanted to hang a deer in there, you could. And then at the end, when you get home, you can just take the hose and wash the bay out. We also put extra air conditioning ducts in there and extra heating ducts in case you have a friend with you you could have somebody else sleep in this back room. At the trade shows, it's been one of the biggest wow factors that we've been getting. Uh, we really feel it's an industry first and it's something that we're extremely proud of. As we go up the stairs here, you can really see the heavy bed liner that we put on it. We also put three 110 outlets in there so that you could operate you know, tools or anything you want, boot dryers or anything like that. We put extra lights in it, and as I mentioned, extra heating and cooling vents. You could even put a motorcycle in here and secure it if you wanted. Here's the light switches that control all the outside lights. And if you really just start looking, you really begin to notice the quality that Renegade puts in everything. The pocket door, the thing you can't see is there's heavy magnets behind it that keep the door held open so you don't have latches. Here's the flooring we put in this. This is a laminate flooring, it's a wood grain. I actually saw this being used in a gas station and I thought, wow, if it'll hold up to that type of traffic, let's put it in this sportsman coach. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. We're kind of giving you a shot here with the slide in so you can see what it's like to be in the coach with all of the slides in. Take a moment here and just kind of pan around a little bit and let you see just the sheer craftsmanship that went into this coach. Here we're gonna take a look at the slide going out. We did 18 inch slides on each side of the coach to make it a little bit easier. If you're in a parking lot, you won't have a large slide hanging out over one side. Both sides do slide. Here we're showing the dinette moving. Here's a nice picture of the dinette. It's all black leather. It also has a really large slide out drawers so that you could store a lot of stuff underneath them. All of the wood is solid maple. Here's a neat feature, Renegade made fold up top so you could stuff extra bedding down the top if you want. We're gonna show you as we move the table down and convert this into a bed. If you have small kids that you wanna sleep there, here's an extra spot to put them. As we move around, I want you to notice the just the craftsmanship in the cabinets. And a big thing that we did is put extra lights in here so that, you know, at night when you're trying to do paperwork, you got lots of lights. Here's a shot of the ladder so you can climb up and down from the upper bunk. The upper bunk has a really large bed in it for two adults. This is our it's an escape hatch, but I also call it a viewing hatch because it's a great way to get access to the top of the roof. As you look around, notice the LED lights track around the top. We have a fold down television with DVD player that swivels and moves back and forth. There's large windows at each side of the bed. We've got a cabinet there for you to store your water bottles at night. Here's a shot of the TV. It's on a motorized TV slide that moves the TV to the center of the coach when you're you know not up in the bunk when you're up in the bunk you can slide the TV just by hitting a switch it just mechanically moves over out of the way not only is it a nice feature it's an industrial feature that's going to last and last now we're going to show you the full couch we have in this it's all black leather 
extremely comfortable. It also has seat belts behind it. If you have extra passengers, you can pull the three seat belts out and you've got a place to secure passengers. They all have access to the TV as well. Here we're gonna fold the bed out. This is a full air bed. So it has a mattress in it and then an air inflator. It takes you about 30 seconds to inflate it. And it's really nice because you can set the density of the cushioning by the air. Here's some more shots of the extra lights inside. Now we're gonna move around into the kitchen area. It has a microwave with convection oven. Notice the extra 110 outlets by the backsplash. There's extra 110 outlets under the dinette, beside the sofa, they're everywhere. Here you can see the large double bin sink and the, the big wow factor is how deep they are and it's all residential faucets. Polished Corian countertops. Here's a shot of the three burner gas stove. You know, everything in this coach just exudes quality. Extra light above the sink, extra lights above the stove. Now we're gonna show you some of the cabinetry in it. Keep in mind, they're all solid maple. All of the drawer cabinets have soft closed slides on them, which is just a really nice feature. There's storage underneath the sink. Here's the heart and soul of the coach. This is where you control the generator, the inverter, your propane levels, your water pump. There's lights for your storage bins underneath the coach, water heater and the camper slides. Everything's done right here at one place. Now we're gonna open up. It's hard to show in the video, but that cabinet is a full length. I think it's close to two foot deep. Now you're gonna see the full length drawers come out. Lots of room for storage. And keep in mind, if you want more storage, we can convert the mudroom into more storage. From Renegade's years of racing, they listened to the feedback from the racers and they've moved all of the electrical cabinets inside of the coach. So if you have a circuit breaker issue, you don't have to crawl under the coach. It's all right there in one panel. I'm gonna show you the large refrigerator here. This operates on 110 or on propane. Just gonna let you kind of look around as we pan around. There's a spot cut out there to uh, so you can put a large milk jug in there. Here's a shot of the freezer. It's really hard to see here, but you know, when anybody looks at this coach, they just really comment on how well it's built. Here's the, the black wainscot padding on the walls. There's a large mirror with a coat rack on it. Solid maple door as you enter into the bathroom area. Has a porcelain toilet with a macerator system. Has water conservation mode on it. Polished Corian countertop in the bathroom with a stainless steel sink. Um, when you grab the towel rack, all the fixtures are solid. The, the windows are trimmed in wood. Household style lighting in it. It just exudes quality at every level when you look at this thing. Here's the polished countertop, the Corian. We use polish, so if you get a scratch in it, it's real easy to polish it back out, and it, it looks consistent. Here's the shower. I can tell you now, if you're six foot six, six foot eight, you're gonna have ample room to shower in this thing. The ceiling's approximately seven, a little over seven foot tall inside. As we move around to the inside of the coach, we tried to keep this more of a truck style feel so you can hop in it with dirty clothes on and be able to clean the seats. Everything in this thing is just really uh, user friendly. The thing I want to talk about on this coach that's an industry first is you notice the winch brake. We learned that from years in our tow truck industry is uh, we order this so that as you pull the yellow parking brake, it locks the rear axles, but when you pull the winch brake lever, it also locks the front axle. So if you're on a steep embankment at a boat ramp or something, you actually have a parking brake on both axles. Another really neat feature of this coach is that it has heated mirrors. Um, 
but it also has a locking rear differential. So if one wheel loses traction, you flip that lever right there and it engages the other wheel and then it locks both rear wheels together. It also has navigation system on it and a backup camera. We're gonna page through just a couple of the features here. There's just too many settings to go through all. But keep in mind, when you buy a coach from us, you'll get the IWS Advantage package, and we're gonna give you a private iPad that has a video to show you how to walk through everything. This coach has automatic power jack leveling. When you wanna level the coach, you just touch the auto level button and it does it all automatically for you. Another cool feature of this coach is um, just the ergonomics of it. It's really built for people that are going to sit behind the wheel all day, mile after mile. It has the Bostrom Taligat Dega seats with air lumbar. There's four air settings on it as well as heated seats. The steering wheel uh, tilts forward and back and it also telescopes in and out. Here's a, another shot of the seat controls. It even has a shock absorber control to sh control the rate of bounce in the seat. If you like what you see, stop by and give it a test drive. Thanks for your time.